Here's my top five recommendations for your Polaris Ranger. All right, guys, Andrew Carlson here. We got a new Polaris Ranger here. Gonna be deep diving into clutching kits, suspension, exhaust, wheels, tires, cabs, all the accessories that you could put on this sweet machine. But before we get to that, um, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys go check out our Instagram page, carlsonmoto.com, to get the new merch. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff on there, so go check it out. And uh, let's get into this. These are not people that are paying me to suggest these things these are things i would generally suggest you do to your ranger because i would do them to mine so all right so first thing is recommendations are are great and all but that has to account for what are you going to use your vehicle for so rangers are awesome they can be used for a ton of different things they're a workhorse they're pretty fast they handle great you can take a mud and haul and lumber you can all kinds of stuff so Whatever you're gonna do, make sure you know what you're gonna do physically with the machine first before you go out and buy a bunch of parts and all kinds of stuff, and then wish, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. All right, first thing I do, Speedworks Exterminator Kit for your Polaris Ranger. It's a clutch kit, exhaust, and a tune. It's really all you need to make this thing faster and be right where you need to be to beat your buddies. So, it's nothing crazy, it's not gonna break the bank, it's not some big gnarly turbo kit that's gonna blow all your belts and do all this stuff. It's straightforward. It's the first thing I'd do. Like no matter what you're doing with your Ranger, that's what I would do. Cause you always want to be faster. And they have different muffler options. So some people like to be loud. You have a little deeper sound. Um, they have a, a louder muffler option. They also have one that's like really comparable to stock and at certain RPMs it's even quieter. So that's the one uh, recommendation. And it's my number one that I would say pretty much anybody that has a Ranger should do this. All right, second thing I would do, we got the speed out of the way. You're already beating your buddy. Now, let's make it comfortable, let's make it cool looking, all that kind of stuff. So I would do, secondly, I would do accessories like doors, roofs, uh, bumpers, stuff like that. Polaris has half doors for, you know, they call them their mutter doors. They're pretty cool. They keep your limbs in the vehicle, but you still get the free flow and air. Um, I definitely would recommend the North Star kits that they sell for these Rangers right on Polaris' website. They're awesome. They tie right in to the body styling. You can wrap them. I've seen guys tint their windows on them, get them looking cool. They also have a bunch of different bumpers, winches, all kinds of stuff. So my second thing is accessories and go to Polaris. Third thing, wheels and tires. So wheels and tires that come on them are usually pretty good. They're pretty aggressive. They usually come with 14 inch rims. Um, I'm gonna about it like a 27, 28 inch tire. The stock, they usually put real wide tires on the back. They put a little bit narrower tire on the front. When you're buying tires aftermarket, you do not have to do that. If you use the stock rims, you do. I would definitely recommend going with a bigger wheel and tire if you have a four pass and you put a lot of people in it and you use it off-roading or trying to get over stuff and you've gotten it stuck, bigger wheels and tires um, are pretty cool. So the bigger you go, the more leverage you have on the stock components. But if you go portals with 35s and you're driving around like scuba, you're probably gonna break your wheel off. Um, not always, but you, you definitely have to drive it differently and it can affect your ride and handling and speed. So be careful with that, keep that in mind. And if you're a mutter guy, you probably already know all this and you're gonna put them on anyway, so that's totally fine. So you can go to more of a truck style tire. If you wanna go halfway in between, Yokohama has an MT and a 15 inch rim um, that looks great on these, gets you a little bit bigger rim, a little more clearance around your brakes. And they're a pretty aggressive tire, but they have more rubber on the ground too. You can run them down the road, they're not gonna howl like this will and uh, you still have enough bite if you're in a muddy condition or whatever. A big thing with tires is I would try to keep them as light as possible. The heavier tire you run, the harder it's gonna be on your belt and the slower your vehicle's gonna go. So when you only have 110 horse like these vehicles have, to pull around tires, if you put tires on that are 10, 20 pounds heavier altogether, that's a lot more load for your vehicle to spin because it's multiplied because it's rotating. So. Keep tire weight in mind. Um, if you're going big, if you want, uh, Yokohama has a super digger that's super light for how big of a tire it is. It's like a 31, 32-ish tire. You got, you'd have to do a lift kit on these to put these on, but um, they're a super soft tire. They grab really well. They're awesome for rock crawling, if you're in the mud, stuff like that. Uh, so I, I like that uh, 28 to 30 inch range on the Rangers. I think it's a good compromise. It's nothing, nothing crazy big. And uh, I run the same size all four corners. So stock, they come wider on the back. The rims are wider on the back. Go with the same size rim, go with the same size tire all the way around. That way, if you have an issue, you only need one tire. All right, suspension. It's the fourth thing. 
Um, like I said, and all the other things, it depends on what you're doing. If you are riding rough trails, if you are, you know, bottoming this thing out over logs and trying to get over stuff, you're getting stuck. My personal recommendation is if you want to spruce this thing up, make it look better, get it handling better over, you know, more clearance, stuff like that. Speedworks has a kit. It's a two and a half inch lift kit. I think it's just under 500 bucks. Um, super easy to put on. It's literally, you take out the stock bolts, slap this thing in, two more bolts, uh, maybe drill a hole and you're pretty much done. So two and a half inches is a lot more lift thing um, than you think when you think of like lifting pickups and stuff like that. So it really allows you to put a little bit bigger tire on there. It doesn't sacrifice a bunch of handling um, and doesn't make the stock springs all mad and, and do weird stuff. So it's a safe kit. Um, I've driven them around, they, they handle awesome and uh, they're pretty easy to put on. The last thing I would buy for my Polaris Ranger is not one you're gonna put on your vehicle instantly, but you're gonna get it and you're gonna keep it on the shelf until you need it. And it's an oil change kit and service kit from Polaris for like 50 bucks. It comes with all the oils you need. Just get it and put it on the shelf and then watch your gauge and put a piece of tape on it and say when it gets to this amount of hours or miles, I'm gonna use it. So take care of your unit and it will take care of you. It's super easy. Air filter, front diff, trans and engine pretty simple one kit from Polaris all the oils you need all the right amounts super easy go check it out we'll put a link for that down below as well all right you got other recommendations that you want to see on these Rangers you got other questions comment them down below I'll be responding to them giving you specific feedback if you want it um, but appreciate you guys watching this video and thanks Jeremy for letting me borrow your Ranger to show you guys this stuff and uh, yeah go check out the links down below thank you guys appreciate you watching the channel and uh, we'll be doing more stuff like this with Rangers and Razors and other cool vehicles too so keep an eye out for those thank you peace